Unit 1, Lab 2, page 5, the last page of this lab. Adding variety to gossip. On this page, you will improve your program so that sometimes the sentences are a bit longer and more complex. The block more complicated who has been built for you. So if it isn't open already, open your U1 L2 gossip projects. Find the more complicated who in the red lists palette, drag it in the scripting area and click on it long enough so that you understand what it's doing and how it's different from who. Uh, I'm clicking on it a bunch. Oh, every so often, every so often it gives this like compound statement. Okay, so more complicated who, oh, I see. If pick random one to four equals three, report join who, who does what blank who. By the way there, how did I do that? Showed the, um, here's the JavaScript code. I think, or some some other like that's be look what it looked like if you had a text if you had to type it all in. Um, else report who? So it looks like only once out of four times does it report this complicated thing, and the rest of the time reports just one name. So how is this happening? All right, so it says, find, pick random one to 10 in the green operators palette, click it several times. Oh, okay, so it's not going in order. It's sometimes it's saying the same number. It's just randomly selecting one through 10. Okay, talk with your partner. In the more complicated who block, what happens if the pick random block picks three? What if it picks four? Hmm. So if it picks three, this complicated thing happens. But if it picks four or one or two, it just reports a single name. Okay, so here's a self-check question. Another self-check. Some vocabulary. How this is be written on the AP exam. Another self-check question. Ooh, this one's a tough one, number five. Which expression will return a random even number between one and 10? A random even number between one and 10. Hmm. Well, an even number is a multiple of two, so I have a feeling it is two times thing. And then the first even number would be two times one, the last even number would be two times five between one and 10. And then the comma means it's selecting everything in between. If I do division, well, this might do one divided by two, which is a half, or like three divided by two, which is a half, etc. Ooh, simulating the rolling of two dice. This is pretty deep. That would be a discussion to have in class. All right, step six. Create a new block, complicated gossip, that is similar to gossip, but that uses more complicated who instead of who. You can choose which who to replace or you could replace box. All right, similar to gossip. So let's take a look at gossip. Okay, gossip just reports join who blank, who blank. You know what I'm gonna do? I drag this, if I just right click on this, I can duplicate it. I wanna, can I drag this out though? Yeah, ooh, fancy, okay, did you see that? I went into gossip, I right clicked, I selected duplicate, and then I dragged it out, okay? So this is gonna save me a little time. Now I'm gonna right click to make a block. It's gonna be a reporter. 
that is an operator and it's called complicated gossip. Okay, guys, remember you can pause and rewind, right? But I right click to make a block. I'm selecting green operator and a reporter. Press OK and it brings this up. I'm just going to drag this out and put this back in. I'm going to pull out the who and put in, what am I putting in instead? Putting in more complicated who. Okay, see all this like those white bubbles? You got to make sure it's like in the right place, which is that first field. Okay, so you could have made that all from scratch or did what I did and duplicated, got the report block from gossip and then just. Right? Okay. So I want to click more complicated who. Oh, no, I'm not up to that. I'm not up to that. Okay, change the script for Sprite to use complicated gossip instead of gossip. Okay, I'm going to pull this gossip out. And there's more complicated gossip. Oh, it's green, so it's going to be under the green palette. I'm going to pull in more complicated gossip. And now I'm going to program. So not, it's not doing it all the time. Remember, only one in four times is it making a longer sentence. If I wanted to change that, I could go to more complicated who and say like, instead of going one to four, I could do one to two and change that to two. And then it would make the longer sentence more often because otherwise it's kind of hard to tell what's going on. All right, ooh, save your work. Save your work. And last step, edit more complicated who. Again, all right, um, I'm gonna right click it here. I'm going to go to edit. Replace one of the who blocks with a fresh copy of more complicated who that you drag in from the palette. Click more complicated who enough times to see how it's changed. Right, while I'm here, just to make it more obvious, I'm going to change this to pick random one to two and two. And now it's going to do the more complicated thing half the time instead of 25% of the time or instead of quarter of the time. So I'm going to grab this here and I'm going to put this in, right? So this is interesting. More complicated who is calling more complicated who. Now what happens? Oh, so we're getting these more longer sentences. We're getting a compound sentence. Let's see, let's pause it on it. Pause it. All right, anyway, this video is getting too long, so I'm gonna end it there. But that's your last question on the questions in classroom, like what's going on with that idea of it calling itself, right? We also have there is there is time and a take it further if you finish quickly. If you do these things, let me know so I can give you a little extra credit, okay? Save your work.